Vertco moved to Stanley Green Trading Estate three years ago. Um, we're specialists in air induction and radiator hoses. Our biggest customer at the moment is JCB, but we have other very big customers across the UK and Ireland. People now are buying from very far off places, India, China and the likes. And when things go wrong, which they inevitably do, you can't get things within two to three days. That's where Vertco steps in. We do our own in-house tooling, which is unheard of these days. And it's even been known that we've turned around tooling and the hoses within 24 hours. So that's our niche market, really. We go through the whole process of buying in the raw compound. We then extrude the rubber into different sized tubes to feed them onto the mandrels, like I say, that we produce in-house. We then cure them, trim them and send them out to the customer. We are very innovative, very forward thinking. There's not really anything that we can't do. We've been doing this for a very long time. Um, people know us, they come to us because they know the kind of service they can expect from us. We're talking about black rubber hoses. They go into the vehicle engines, forklift trucks, train hoses, uh, hoses for Aston Martin. We've done washing machine hoses. We approach Logma as a brand new company starting from scratch. We'd sourced the factory, the machinery, and we had some big visions. There was a whole list of things that we wanted but didn't think for a minute that we would get those things and more. The problems we'd always encountered previous to Logma were things along the lines of stock, stock control, stock taking, batch control, batch maintenance, um, and traceability is the big key word these days. As soon as Logma were on board and we got the computer system, that then followed up with us getting our ISO accreditation so the problems we'd had before were tackled by Logma in the one system which does everything for us. The extrusion stage was never even accounted for prior to Logma. The stock therefore takes all that into consideration now, which it didn't do before. They took everything that we gave them on board and the beauty of Logma was they didn't try and fit us into their system they fit the system around us and our needs and that was a problem that we'd encountered with other companies beforehand. Every part of the process needed to go through the computer system. The compound comes in in kilos weight. It's then extruded into five metre lengths. The five metre lengths are then cut down into random pieces to make single hoses which are then put on the shelf. So what Logma did was very, very clever and they had to make up formulas and have weights and sizes and measurements for everything to make this go through the system effortlessly and seamlessly. Secondly was the batch maintenance. The traceability was a huge thing and to be fair, we sat around the table on a good couple of occasions on this one. We can literally, in the space of two to three taps on the computer, get from a hose to the batch reference. It's unbelievable. So we have a, a batch number on every single hose. That unique batch reference takes you back to a separate batch number for the extrusion process and right back to the batch number that the supplier sends in to us. That was very important. The other thing we really needed was to see drawings and see what we were looking for much quicker and much easier than before. When you're dealing with hundreds of different tools, it's very dif difficult to go and put your hands exactly on the one that you need. People can go to any computer and see an image of that tool, so anyone can go and find it. The tool is stamped up with our own unique reference to make it easier and the part number. We also have every drawing saved in there as well. It's just revolutionised our lives, to be fair. We go out now and the touchscreen computers around the factory, we can look on any part number and see the drawing right there, real time, the sizes, the dimensions, everything at a glance. 
it's been invaluable to have that. We also took on Logma's own accounts package and it's been the most simple system I've certainly ever used and when my books now go away only once annually my accountant says it's fantastic, she can follow everything simply, it's efficient, it's been fantastic. What the order processing area, very very simple and as soon as the order is processed, it generates its own works orders. The system virtually runs itself. It's incredible. It's very, very easy. But the system gives us the freedom to carry on as we need to. And at the moment, that is in the factory. Um, what we also have that was very important was the touch screens around the factory. What that means is wherever you are working, you can go to a computer and input the jobs that you're doing at that stage. So that's made life an awful lot easier. This system is so much bigger than we are and that's exactly what we wanted. With this system in place we have got easily 10 years growth. We looked at the barcoding system that Logma do with the handheld devices. In a couple of years time we would really like to go down the barcoding route and I know that Logma will, able, will be able to take that on board and do that for us, no problem. Anything we need the system to do, it will do it. What we have put in place, I don't feel was expensive for what it was and what we've been provided with. It was our professional best foot forward. We wanted to be taken seriously and we, are, we wouldn't have got our ISO accreditation without it. We wouldn't have been approved by big companies, whereas we are now, the auditors for the ISO 9000, 9001. Um, he came first of all and was blown away by the system. We've had a couple of JCB auditors round as well to do quality checks and they too think the system is up there with some of the best companies that they've been out to see, very big companies. Someone actually once compared it to m and system. I think ours is better though, to be honest. Logma have been great to work with. They're very down to earth. You can tell them exactly as it is in layman's terms. You just explain what you want and they'll do it. They're very professional. Audrey played almost devil's advocate for us and put our point across to the more techie ones around the table and get the point across the way they needed to hear it, but speaking from our side. And it was really refreshing, actually. It worked very, very well. The maintenance side of things is a dream for us. You just pick a phone up and they will log on to your screen, sort any problem out and that's it. I mean it's fantastic. They're really really nice, they're, they're lovely pleasant people, a dream to work with. They've never not sorted something out for me. I've actually had a hardware problem which was only a month ago and they even bridged the gap with a solution that got me going in the for the two hours it took for a person to turn up at the door with the piece of kit that needed replacing and I just thought that was unbelievable to even get the problem solved enough for me to keep production going and then to have someone at the door within two hours with the piece of kit it's amazing I would say where the recession's concerned the point for me where using Logma has helped is it's made us look a more professional company. We've needed this kind of system to get through this. It's been very, very busy. We are now incredibly busy and I don't think we could do it without having this kind of system on board and equally I don't think the people that are coming to us would have used us without this kind of system. So yeah, I think it's very relevant. But going through my head now, I can't think of one thing I would have left off the system. So, recession or not, I wouldn't have not had the computer system.
this has been a, a real linchpin in our business. Yeah, we couldn't have done it without, without Logma in the system.